This is the project that we are starting doing today. So it's a quite big job. It's about 2,000 to uh, 2,500 square meters of walls including the garage doors and the uh, uh, fire doors on the, other, on the other side of the building. So stay tuned guys to see how we're gonna go with this one. So we started it with the soft wash. Uh, we started washing it from the top of the building all the way down. We used uh, uh, chemicals for this one. So the chemical we use for this one is uh, chlorine, the pool chemical that you use in pools normally mixed with the water. Uh, to mix it, we use the nozzle uh, on the gun that mix water and the chlorine that's been attached to the gun. So it made this process a lot easier uh, than uh, other way of doing it. And we washed this building in one day, uh, about 2,500 uh, 2, square meters of uh, surface. So after we washed it, it was ready for spray painting and applying a paint on the walls. So this is the side of the building that we just washed like hour ago. It's all the way down. And this is the back of the building that just been washed. And the next step is to do the expansion joints. Because there's a bit of a gap going on in some of them. I think I'm gonna do these joints on a with a Cicaflex and this is how I do that. For this I'm using a cordless uh, gun from Milwaukee because uh, it's uh, one of those jobs that you have to be very careful with and take your time in order not to make any mess. After all these joints, they gotta look nice and presentable. Here we are guys, finally starting to spray. So this is where we're starting from, the top all the way down to the bottom. For the metal roofing on this uh, project, we used the MX uh, metal primer from the Acrotex Dulux. It's the best product for this kind of uh, metal roof or metal side walls that are applied with the uh, Calabon metal sheeting. Tip size I use for this one is 412. It's a low pressure tip, green one. For the top coat I've used the roof membrane. Uh, this is the product from the same company, Acrotex from Julux. Um, I've used tip size 415 with a little bit bigger fan than the previous one that I've done uh, undercoat with because this paint is a little bit thicker than undercoat so we can use a wider fan to cover more space on a, on a color bond. Wider fan means uh, it uh, covers more and the job goes quicker but at the same time I don't want to uh, have too much overspray if I put it too wide so 415 should be right. Starting to spray undercoat on walls. So this is how I do this: um, spraying undercoat, and at the same time I'm masking the windows. This is just mask these two windows. There are another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows. And some of the on the bottom there. all the undercoat on the front of the building all up we used two drums of three in one seal undercoat on top ones for all the white and we used one drum actually half of the drum for the top 
Kalabond on the other side of the building. So two and a half trams, we've done all this. <laughs> same tip size, uh, 415, low pressure tip and I use old weather for two coats of paint on the top of the undercoat. So here we are at the end of this project. I'm uh, doing uh, finishing touches with the uh, boom lift there uh, or cherry picker. Some people call it cherry picker. Uh, these uh, sections, there's uh, this section here about the shed that I have to paint. And another one behind that corner with it behind the truck and that will be finished for the external painting on this building it was a 10 days job two guys spray painting three coats uh, one undercoat and two top coats the, for undercoats we use the three in one from topman's photo prep three in one and uh, we used all weather as a top coat and we applied two coats of all weather so the building is come out very nice everybody stops on the street to have a look at it till next time stay safe guys